Throughout my 20s, I had multiple businesses. I was a millionaire, I had the American dream, but something was missing for me. My life is very different now. I work 365 days a year. I live out of three duffel bags every month now. I worry about how to pay my bills, but I'm much more fulfilled. Extreme weather is at the very heart of Tad Agolia's inspirational riches to rag story. Arriving on site and cleaning up debris many weeks after natural disasters made him rich, but the scenes of destruction and heartbreak following Hurricane Katrina made him ask a question. What in the world was this like on day one, or the first night when this storm hit? I mean, here I am, three, four, five months later, and this place is, is still destroyed. In 2007, Tad would find out firsthand. When an EF5 tornado destroyed Greensburg, Kansas, he dropped a money-making contract in Missouri and drove his debris-moving truck to the disaster. I remember just instantly, right on the spot, saying, I'm, I'm making a decision here. Uh, I'm gonna go to Greensburg, Kansas and find out what kind of help they need. And I told my employee, I said, uh, hey, hop out of that truck. I'm going to Kansas to see if they need a hand with that big tornado just touched down. Volunteering in Greensburg changed Tad's life forever. I saw a woman emerge from a pile of rubble and she looked around for the first time and just collapsed. And then I saw some of her neighbors run to her aid. And at that moment in time, I decided this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Tad's new calling would fill his soul, but empty his savings account. What we do costs a lot of money. And over the next two years, I responded to 18 disasters with all of my equipment and all of my employees and paid for it all myself. Most people thought taking millions of dollars of equipment and staff, two disasters to help free of charge, was a, was a little crazy. But to Tad, it made perfect sense. And by 2009, he had converted his thriving business into a nonprofit charity, the First Response Team of America. Basing his operations in rural Lancaster, Pennsylvania, he built a dedicated team that travels with him across the country to respond to weather's most ferocious and devastating storms. Essentially, the first response team is staffed with young men who grew up on farms, who know how to run equipment from a young age, but also have that mentality that when my neighbor needs a helping hand, I'm gonna be there. The life on a farm in a rural community, you help out the, your, your neighbors, you help, you help out people that are less fortunate or going through a hard time, so um, that's kind of just in my DNA. For team members, helping storm survivors means getting to disaster sites quickly. It also means putting themselves in dangerous situations, something each of them is more than willing to do. I really want to get to work and start helping these people as soon as possible because I know I have a set of skills that can help and I want to make the biggest difference I can as fast as possible. There's always elements out there that, that uh, can take your life and you have to be aware of those. You kind of just have to, to flip a switch and be in work mode and, and uh, be prepared for the things that you're, you're going to see. It's uh, there's some long days, there's some hard work, uh, but in the end you, you know that you've helped people and you've really helped uh, make a difference. Ted's story may not be a fairy tale. After all, he has given up millions to serve others, but it certainly has a happy ending. Since 2009, with the help of major donors, the First Response Team of America has helped countless storm survivors at dozens of natural disasters. Today, Tad continues his mission to lead a more meaningful life. As a human being, it's my job and my duty and my responsibility to help someone who's right in front of me with real needs. Never once have I regretted the decisions I made to give up the life I had. I found something more meaningful than making money, and that was helping people in natural disasters.